Hello everyone, welcome to the Common Sense Academy. Today we're going to take a look at a First Amendment auditor outside of a state trooper bar state police state trooper barracks in Kentucky. He's out there doing his First Amendment thing, uh, videotaping the grounds of the straight the state trooper barracks when he has an encounter with several of the state troopers. Uh, Thank you everybody for joining. I'm Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer. This is the Common Sense Academy. We cover sovereign citizens, First Amendment auditors, and other legal miscreants. Um, the format today, we're going to watch the video. I'm going to do start, stop. I know a lot of people don't like that. The full uh, video, which is very long and kind of boring until the part where I jump in, um, is in the description below. So feel free, go click on the video, watch it if you don't if you don't want to watch with my commentary. But those of you, I think uh, my commentary really adds something, makes it more fun, and we're going to learn a little bit at the same time. Um, so before we begin, uh, many of you have come here for just one reason, not necessarily my content. You came here to drink coffee with me, drink beer with me, drink yuhu with me, drink Kool Aid with me. We do a same time sip because when we sip when we sip together it tastes better and better and in this time of coronavirus and uncertainty we all need to stick together so cheers to everyone sticking together and us getting through this thing um and coming out stronger because of it cheers uh let's sip Also, if you like my content, give me a subscribe. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. Most of my viewers are not subscribed. Go ahead, subscribe. Hit the notification button. Get me to 10,000. It will open me up um, to new to to be able to do more things on YouTube. I get a merchandise shelf and a bunch of other things. Really want to get to that 10,000. Okay, let's watch. She comes around. I mean, that's beyond harassment, dude. Okay, pause right here. Beyond harassment, you are on the grounds of a state police barracks in their parking lot, and they're driving around the parking lot looking at you. Crazy, dude. Can't even come and take pictures, man. There's somebody at the back door back here now on the phone. All right, I'm going. Building? That's not a public building. It's not. It's not paid for by tax dollars. That's a government building. Don't start this. Don't start what? What are you doing? I'm taking videos and pictures. Why are you taking videos? Because it's a First Amendment protected activity. Okay, but why are you doing that? Do I gotta have a reason? Actually, yeah. Keep your hand away from your parking lot for me, okay? While I talk to you, just for our safety, okay? Uh, look, the truth of the matter is, you can be out there, you can be taking video, okay, but when you're doing it suspiciously, they come out and they ask you some questions, they're allowed to come out and ask you questions. Shoot, anybody can walk up to anybody and ask questions. What are you doing? Video on Just checking up, check, looking at the cars and stuff. Okay. I don't really have to disclose what my purpose is. You don't? No, sir. Okay, so... I have a fifth amendment in this country. Okay. It's also a suspicious incident as well, okay? Somebody walking okay, around. The okay. The Fifth Amendment is the right to not self-incriminate yourself. So, yeah, you don't have to speak to the police and not incriminate yourself, okay? And you, But, like, it's not the same as you having the right to go around and do the things that you're doing. That's your First Amendment right. I think he just got it confused a little bit there. The video, you can video me. I don't care. I have, I have no problem with you Can you quit me. stepping towards me? No, absolutely not. I can step wherever I want. Do you have your license on you? 
I know I don't know. Okay, what's your name? You can, you can video. What's, what's your, uh, what's your name? What, what it, he, he doesn't have to provide his name, okay? There's no, I, I don't know. Well, here's where it would get weird is if the police have reasonable suspicion and it's a stop and identify state, which I don't know if Kentucky is. If Kentucky's a stop and identify state and they have reasonable suspicion, he would have to identify himself. Most states just require that you give first and last name, okay? Some may even require some sort of identification. Actually, I don't think any of those laws actually, but you do have to give your first and last name. Okay, um, and you know, is what he doing? Is what he's doing suspicious? Well, a judge may think so. My name is going to give you. Who you're at? Who are you? Does it matter who I am? I'm a citizen. I'm a citizen. I'm going around video and state trooper police cars and paid for by tax dollars. So there are cars. I have, I have a question. I'm Detective Rutherford. Okay. Uh huh. Have you spoken with uh, with any of the supervision here at Post before about coming on the property and video? And I've asking, never been here before. You've never been here before? No, sir. Okay. Well, the reason I ask is we've had some individuals inquire about video on the uh, property, and I was just curious if you were one of the ones that had inquired about it. No, sir. I've never been here before. Okay. Generally, what's asked is that if you're going to video the property, that's fine. That's within your constitutional right. However, we ask that you stay on the sidewalk and do so, okay? Okay. When you walk into the front yard and stand in front of the... Well, right I was getting a picture of the plaque y'all have at the sure. front right and that's, there. That's fine. That's fine. I don't have a problem with you doing that. We would just ask in the future, if you're going to be on the property, either stay on the sidewalk or actually walk into the lobby if you have a concern or a question. Because right? okay. as you can imagine, if you're standing in our front yard, we're going to be interested in what you're doing out there. It's not your front yard, sir. It's the people. It's our office... Let me stop that right there because he says, oh, those are my cars. It's not your front yard. It's the people's yard. Yeah, it's true. Your taxpayers um, pay their, your tax dollars pay their salary and pay for their items. But that, that does not give you the right to, um, to uh, trespass onto certain public property that is considered private. Take, for example, a military base. The CIA, even state troopers, they're working in, with sensitive private information that is confidential, all right? Anything that is deemed private or confidential, even if it was publicly paid for, you don't have a right to see it. You don't have a right to use it. You don't have a right to touch it. You don't have a right to take it. Okay, that's not how the law works. The law doesn't grant you those rights. You do have a right to exercise your First Amendment right within reason in the bounds set forth by the Supreme Court, but the Supreme Court does not allow you to record private information even if it's if, if it's public officials who are are uh, accessing you're using that private information and it gets into that a little more later on in this video yard it's still government. and as you can imagine there's a lot of people out there hey man what is government we the people okay, okay Jeremiah let's not go down this road okay? there's some people that don't have a problem with law enforcement government and obviously there's a lot of people that do I don't have a problem with law okay. enforcement I'm not here to debate that yeah he does but all yeah, I'm asking does. is for security reasons if you would continue if you're gonna continue to uh, record our property which is fine stay on the sidewalk by the road okay don't wander in our front yard okay the, the front yard of our office okay we're not here to debate we're not here to discuss constitutionality matters not here to give you a hard time. All I'm simply asking is if you're going to record, you're going to be on the property, the state police post, either come inside or stay on the front sidewalk. Okay? Don't come walk in the front yard and stand in front of the window. Okay? Well, I didn't stand in front of the window. You were right. The plaque you were, is right, right there in front of the flag right in the front yard. Listen, viewers, is what this detective asking unreasonable at all? No. He even gave this guy a couple of options. Look, if you want to walk around, you want to take pictures of the plaque, you want to go all around this place with the camera, okay, call them beforehand or stop in the lobby and let them know what you're doing. Okay, you could be a criminal, a terrorist out there 
casing the area so that you could commit some sort of attack. Of course, they're going to come out and confront you and talk to you. You would do the same thing if someone was standing outside of your house, even if they're on the sidewalk videotaping your house. They have the right to do that, but you certainly have the right to go out and confront them and not call them tyrants or all the names this guy goes off on. Where the flagpole is. Yes. Where sir, do you understand that you can't you can't film our computer system or anything of the sort? How am I filming a computer system? When it, we have you on camera in the front yard filming our computer system through the window. You okay. have me filming the plaque in front of the building here. No, I'm talking about at the flagpole. Where you were, where you not filming? I was filming downwards at the plaque that says it's a tribute to all officers that's okay. been killed in the line of duty. Yeah, so she, you, she you, watched me the whole so time. So if I subpoena your, uh, your video here, is it going to show any of our computers on it? No, it's not. You can actually get it on YouTube. You're live right now. Well, that's great. Okay. I'm just I'm just letting you know that you're not allowed to film our computer systems. Okay? I wasn't filming your computer okay. system. I have so no intent you, to film your computer system. Are you system. making a documentary, or what's the deal? Yeah. Just, I don't have to disclose why I'm doing it. That no, will be no. revealed. Yeah. Do you have any ID on you that you'd like to give me? No, sir. All right. Well, if you don't care who you are, then neither do I. Have a good day. What's your name and badge number? You going to photo identify? Please stay out of the front yard, okay? Wow, y'all are tyrants here, ain't you? What's yours? You know, I, I again, I've said this many, many times before, um... I respect the person's First Amendment rights, and I think things like body cams and dash cams and recording police interactions um, is a good thing. I really, really do. I think that everybody, uh, you know, all public officials, politicians, police officers, et cetera, et cetera, should be held accountable um, for their actions, and they should always be trying to act in the public interest, all right? And some of these auditors, I sympathize to sympathize with but um if you hear what this guy's about to say um lets you know um that this isn't about the first amendment this is this is about him coming out and giving the police a hard time 332 yeah. and your uh, policy to speak it what if i can't read this is a two-way street sir if you he's got an attitude problem he has from the moment he walked out here with me. Okay, no, he doesn't. Videos, okay, but we're not going to get worked up over it. Just stay out of the property, okay? Stay off the property. Okay. Sounds if you want to film, right, film on the sidewalk. It's funny. She thinks she knows who I am. Fucking like tyrants, man. All of them. Yes, it's car number... Four eight three six. State police. And then the other Bowling Green cop there. But that little tyrant bitch right there has got a problem. All his language and his anger there, uncalled for, uh, low life type stuff, and uh, that sh that lets you see and know his true colors. Um, so, you know, I wanted to cover this guy just because, again, I defend auditors a lot and, you know, if they're out there and they're doing it right and they're not interfering and they're not being jag offs to the police, then again, I think it's, it can be a good thing. But, um, th you know, this guy, number one, him being confrontational at the outset. Okay. What not? All right. Whatever. Um, just explain yourself. Call beforehand. Do it. Do it in a, a non-confrontational manner. It can be done like that. But his language at the end just showed his his true colors. I I really I really found it offensive. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to watch the full video, it it is below. Um, thank you for tuning in to the Common Sense Academy. I'm Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer. Um, there's a link below. The coffee that I drink is Black Rifle Coffee. Um, go into the link. If you purchase from that link below, I will profit a little bit from it. And those funds I use 
okay, so that I can free up more time to make more videos like this, also make my Joe the Lawyer uh, YouTube channel, bring you guys information, content that you enjoy, but you buy Black Rifle Coffee, it also, uh, every sale, a percentage goes to veteran charities, and they are also veteran-owned, and I'm an Air Force veteran myself. Thank you for turning in to uh, Common Sense Academy. Have a nice day. Stay safe during the quarantine.